afternoon, dear viewers. Good afternoon, dear partners, investors, those interested in the project, haters, trolls, everyone who is watching. Good afternoon. Probably today we will have an unusual format of the program and not what we are used to talking about. So sit back, sit comfortably and let's talk about very interesting things. Let's talk about what I'm going to share with you now. Look, last year, on May 25th, we were laying a capsule on the territory. And in June 2017, it was decided to develop the project and attract investment by crowd investing. This decision was taken. And then the amount was announced in terms of the figures the state of the economy and the methods that would allow us to undergo all sorts of examinations. The amount of 20 million dollars was announced, which was to finance Sovelmash and the whole project and taking into account referral fees and other expenses, it was 40 million dollars. There were different figures and indicators, a lot was announced. But the bottom line is that at the beginning of the journey, one dollar cost 56 rubles, then it rose to 80 to 120. Different things happened. You can say anything and reason as you like. But Sovelmaj operates in the ruble zone and the company's settlement accounts receive money in rubles and we spend in rubles and if we need to buy something abroad we sell rubles and buy the necessary currency and then the necessary equipment we spend exactly as much as the investment we attracted Unlike all assumptions and reasoning, the information that gives an objective picture, a realistic picture, is in the accounting department of Sovelmash. Finally, the time has come, which is different from all the others, because I can now voice the amount, the sum that has come from investors of Sovelmash in rubles as of today. And it is 1 billion 431 million 315 thousand 813 rubles 8 kopecks. If we take the weighted average exchange rate for the period from the beginning of the project, from July 2017 to the present. This weighted average rate is 72 rubles and something. Of course, there are some more kopecks. That is, we can say that the settlement account of Sovelmash in dollar terms received investments of 19 million. 879,386 dollars. Is it a lot or a little? 
This is exactly the amount that the project cost in dollar terms. as of 2017. How much has happened during this time? We have seen how prices have changed. And at one of the webinars, I announced the amount that, taking into account current prices and taking into account all the shortcomings and other things, that Sovolmash needs 30 million as of the end of last year. At the same time, we said that we did not know how events would develop further. That was the situation at that very moment. And accordingly, taking into account referral fees, this is $60 million of revenues to Solo Group. Today we can ask the question, where did the 1.431 billion rubles go? Maybe Kurshevel, Jamaica, Mallorca, and so on. There or not? According to the accounting data, taking into account the attribution of administrative costs, we can say that 94, 95 percent, something like that went to the construction, on the construction, it was spent on the construction. Is it a lot or a little? And it takes into account the volume of construction and the equipment purchased. We will talk about that later. Where did the remaining 5-6% go? That money was spent on developments that will be put into production. In one of the last videos you saw what developments are underway. And we have already voiced this repeatedly. 54 engines for general industrial purposes, an integrated motor for power tools, winches, wheels and so on whole range of developments. If we take it in percentage terms, then for each of the developments, we have 70 developments on average. So we get no more than half a million rubles for each of the developments. And what is the selling price of them? So about 500,000, about 1 million for all developments, the price is different, plus controllers for built-in power tools, for a traction motor well, quite serious developments, and the developments that few people do. But it has already been done, and what remains is to bring the hulls and make equipment for production, and so on. These are trifles. The most difficult thing is mathematics and secretary. These are layout solutions. We can see that these developments took place. We see that in the laboratory. Now Alexander Semenov and his colleagues are testing samples a lot and they show good results. These results are superior to those of the collectors and drives that are used today. And trust me, the parameters are vastly superior. The most important thing is that no famous team dared to take up solving such problems, because power tools such as angle grinder without collector, are produced by only one company with powering from the network. So the task is extremely difficult and we have taken it. The angle grinder is the most horrible product in terms of layout, the most 
unpleasant tool, but nevertheless we did it. And other issues are already being solved and that's easy. Now the designers and specialists in the laboratory have prototypes of different types of tools, but then it is all solved automatically. So if you compare the development costs we have incurred in terms of development again, with the possible price or margin we can get, there's a very big difference. The most important thing is that as soon as we get to the Solmash site, the Design and Construction Bureau, we will have a finished product already. Because when we get on the site, we will need to maintain it, service it, and not only do that, but also make a profit and earn money both for ourselves and for you. We need to prepare for this. So the costs go not only to construction, but also other things, developments. But developments are one thing, and they need to be produced on something. So the same money is also used to develop technological equipment for the production of these engines and developments. The starting part of the equipment was purchased in China, the rest is already being developed here. It is manufactured here as well. For some of the developments we lifted the veil of secrecy and we showed you what is made. Some non-standard things, but this is not all. And all this is done for 5% of the total. Is it a lot or a little? Let's compare with others. But I think that hardly anyone will provide us with true information. But we did. Why is it so cheap? Someone will say cheap, someone will say expensive. I will now tell you one figure. And I hope that you understand that I do not receive the smallest salary in the team. How much do you think it is? In chat number one, I recently announced that the average salary in Moscow in 2022 is about 150 to 180,000 rubles. 190 maybe. I receive an average salary in Moscow. To date my income is 156,000 774 rubles per month in Sovelmash. Again, is it a lot or a little? It's a lot for the province. But on the other hand, name at least one company manager, a director who would have such a salary. The rest of the employees of Sovelmash have much lower salaries because their jobs are simpler. This explains the low cost of development. This is the first thing. Second, 1.4 billion. Is that a lot or a little? Let's see what has been done for this money. The frame of the building has been built. Roof work has been completed, 80% of roof work, 80% has been completed and 20% is not completed, however 15% is left to complete that work, so if we look at the total it is 92%, 92% of the roof work has been completed. Now enclosing structures of the building. The most laborious work has been done. Some minor work remains in terms of the production building and mainly on extensions. But it is easier to do work on extensions than to work on the roof of the building. So we can say that the work which has already been performed is about 90% 
and taking into account that the internal metal structures are already there, we can say that 96% of the work has been done in terms of the enclosing structures. The administrative and household building. We have seen that now the frames for installing glass blocks have already been installed. The work on all lift shafts has been completed, all staircases have been completed. The inter-story floors have been poured by 100%, staircases 100%, lift cases 100%. Subconcrete work in access from 17 to 23. Backfill is performed from access 1 to 17. Now preparation is underway for leveling. It has already been melted and then we will level and compact the backfill. Therefore, we can say that subconcrete on the ground floor is 30% done. And it is all done for this money. Whether it is a lot or a little for the building. Almost all the main work has been done. Plus all the technological equipment for the first stage and for passing state commissions has been purchased. In addition, engineering equipment has been purchased. Some more things will have to be purchased a little bit later. We will talk about that a little further. Metering units have been purchased. Transformers, you saw that blue packaging. Equipment for climate control, air conditioning, and heating, which are on the site. You have seen that. You saw in the warehouse behind the building there is material for performing internal work on partitions. No payment has been made for materials for the manufacture of additional partitions, which are provided for by changes in the project. On the second floor, the partitions are made in the amount of more than 90%. There are even skirtings installed, strips are installed. In the latest videos, you could see the long finished corridors, doors, openings. Everything looks very solid, very beautiful. Plus 78% of the building has been glazed, windows have been installed. In the vast majority of window openings, mainly in the administrative and household complex, now the cladding is being installed and preparation work is underway for the installation of windows. The most important thing is that the bulk of work has been completed and then you know a window is not so time-consuming to install. So even there, the main volume of work has been completed. Is that a lot or a little? Despite the fact that I sweat everyone in a very ungodly way, frankly speaking, the construction costs are the least possible. Why do I say this? Because the team worked very professionally, very competently. However, I cannot say that everyone was a great professional. No, I just assembled a team of people keen on achieving the goal. The Directorate for Capital Construction acted very competently. They worked very professionally. They know how to do it. Titanic work on the control of document flow, pedantic tracking of all documents, 
meticulous study of each figure. Because documents go a long way back and forth. After the document is made, it is checked thoroughly and according to current prices and according to the rules of registration and by units of measurement, by all indicators. Two women work in our planning and economic department. They are real fighters. They know how to fight for the interests of the company. And this gives its result. If you look at how much they recouped, I think that each of them would have enough money until retirement. This is the Directorate for Capital Construction. This planning and economic service works professionally. This team works professionally. And thanks to this, the inspection bodies had practically no complaints about the documents. Well, there were, of course, some attempts, but we managed to successfully explain everything. So sometimes they take it as nitpicking, but in fact, these quibbles lead to the fact that they reduce the number of questions that can be asked of us. Also, a huge job is done by the accounting department. And the fact that our girls are not afraid to deal with the tax inspectorate concerning proving the necessity of a VAT refund, it is worth a lot. Because few people take the risk of taking fire on themselves, and they regularly do it. They regularly call it on themselves. While the tax office naturally takes the initiative not to return the money. However, the accounting department takes all the necessary measures to ensure that the tax authorities reimburse us. What amounts are we talking about? This is not less than 100 million rubles. What the girls have already defended. And it is thanks to such actions that the costs of the project are minimized. This is thanks to the work of the team. What else do we have to do? Now we need to do a large amount of work on engineering systems. This is critical work. Because if we do not have time to supply heat by winter, by when it is cold and there is not much time left, then we will either have to stop the work but it will mean costs, because we will need to keep the builders on site. Or we will have to use heat guns for heating, which isn't cheap either. It means additional costs as well. Therefore, now we need concentrated funds to pay for this work. This is the first thing. The main thing we need to do is engineering networks. The second thing is to do the subconcrete, the first layer on the ground of the ground floor. Pour a layer of concrete from the first to the seventeenth axis. And then we will be able to do the second part of the work. This is to perform a concrete coating on the ground floor. And then you will be able to put heat equipment, power transformers, distribution boards, and so on. The next large chunk of work that remains to be done, what we have not purchased yet, they are pumping units 
for circulation of heat transfer medium, water, anti-fire, and so on. Everything that relates to internal engineering networks. It is necessary to purchase lifts. We also need to make boxes for air distribution, to purchase power supply elements, such as bus ducts, taps, automatic machines, and so on. These are the main expenses. After that, we will need to perform finished floors on the second floor. So, finish floors there. Perform a finished floor on the ground floor, on the mezzanine. Mount partitions on the ground floor, metal structures. What Astron will do. We have already paid for the preparation of additional metal structures. Perform engineering networks. We have already spoken about that. Perform vertical planning landscaping, roads, coatings, parking lots, and so on. This is the work we still have to do. If we talk about technological equipment, then it has been purchased already. It is already here. There are little things left, such as workbenches and racks. It will be necessary to purchase household equipment for a meal room, for restrooms, bathroom equipment. But this is not the same amount, really. We will need a physiotherapy room as well, a medical office, which is mandatory for labor protection. We still need to purchase all of that. Is it a lot or a little? If you look at what we have done now for 20 million, another 10 million, will we keep up with it? If prices remain the same, then I hope that we will. If something changes further, then we will have to adjust something else. However, you cannot stop having passed two-thirds of the way. When we started, no one had clarity whether they could or could not do it, whether they were capable or not. In my opinion today, there is no such question. It is clear that the team can do it, and it is doing it. It understands how to do it. Despite all the difficulties, despite this difficult historical period, nevertheless, they have acted very effectively with minimal costs. You can compare all this with other construction projects and draw your own conclusions. Which judgments can be made? You can judge how much money was raised, how effectively it was spent, what we ended up with together with you, and what are the prospects. And the prospects, I would say, are that if this facility were ready now, this moment, the load would be very large, the workload. A lot of critical products are required, the supply of which has been stopped in the Russian Federation, and the production of which we could establish. In the same way as what is done in Europe, in terms of energy sources, you see what the prices are. So the relevance of energy-saving and energy-efficient drives and motors is very big. And no one will look at where it is produced. They will buy through intermediaries, but there is nothing to buy yet, because we have not yet completed the facility. How quickly this facility will be put into operation and will begin to work depends mainly on the reception of funds. Therefore, we are now considering the option of attracting borrowed funds with compensation of interest on bank loans and 
credits. But it can tell you that this path is not so simple. It's not simple at all. But I believe that fate keeps us safe. Fate protects us. Maybe it's an illusion. But I really think so. I really believe in it. Because, well, everything ended badly, quite badly, for those who tried to do mean things to the project. I see that. And as for those who move the project, who promote the project, who make it advance, who work on the project, well, those people are doing well. And I really see that, even though it may be an illusion. Well, thank you all. Have a very good day. All the best to you. Everything will be fine. Take care of yourself. And goodbye.